syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor, and Lars Larson, also a syndicated radio host with Compass Media Networks. So, I mean, you had, I had, you know, you got to laugh a little. Who? I don't know what. He, I don't know what you're talking about. Now, let let me ask you both. Do you really believe the White House didn't know the Secretary Chu testified? His goal was not to get gas prices down. I'll start with you on it, Lars. They know nothing. They've covered their ears and said, we don't know anything. We've never heard that. Of course, Megan, reasonably, I can't wait to see Leslie chew on this one. The fact is, nice. this is consistent with the admin. I know, I know. <laughs> well, this, is the, this is consistent with the administration's statements all along. Ray LaHood says, we will not favor motorized transportation over non-motorized. They want us back in donkey carts. The president has said he wants to see gas prices go up, just do it gradually. And Chu says he wants to see us paying what Europe pays. It's all consistent, and all of a sudden the White House doesn't know anything about it. What a joke, Leslie. Leslie, th what, did, what was your reaction? I mean, we saw Jay Carney, uh, uh, what? I'm not familiar with that remark. We don't know whether it was truthful or it wasn't, but is it any coincidence that the next day, Secretary Chu's out there saying, I want to lower the gas prices. Forget that I said the <laughs> other day, that is not my goal. Yeah, it is my goal. Well, well, first of all, I do believe it is his goal, and I believe it was his goal in 2008. Well, why did he say it long, wasn't? Long, long, long term, I, and I don't disagree that it was like Baloney. an oops moment. I got to check my notes and check with my people. Lars, you know what this is, sweetie. Yesterday, the, in four years, the lowest amount of unemployment claims filed Oops, we got to find something quick. We got an election in November. That's what this is. So let's look at what Shu said in 2008. Gas prices are, are, are high. And you know, Lars, as a Republican, you guys are loving that gas prices are high because it no, helps we don't. less voters vote for the president in November. What? How did, because they can't drive to the polls? Listen, Megan, I've got no, to respond to this. No, because you're going to blame Chu's... him for the high gas prices, no, even though on, that's Lars. not the Chu's... reason for the high gas prices. Megan, Chu's earlier statement from last week was very clear. I want to get America off oil. He didn't say I want to increase the supply. He wants America off oil. The only way to get people off of something generally is to make it cost so much money that they can't afford to use it anymore, which has been the consistent message from the energy secretary, the transportation secretary, and the president. And here's Leslie saying, oh, no, they want prices down. If prices go down on anything, people use more of it. But Leslie, you need to take some economics. But Leslie, does it make sense that a president in an election year would want to see gas prices go up, which are a major indicator, they say, of how you know an election is going to go, that that's one thing that really hits people in their pocketbook in a real way and affects elections. I have not heard the president say or, or, or see any actions taken that would uh, show that he wants gas prices to go up. Yes, that is what Chu said uh, in, in 2008. Uh, Chu, although working for the president, uh, I, I don't know if he misspoke, but quite frankly, the president huh. campaigned and huh. has said then, as he says now, that he wants to reduce and eventually eliminate America's dependency on oil. And Lars, quite frankly, you know, 75 percent of Americans don't want these subsidies for big oil, but Republicans vote for them again and again. And more oh, jobs are created by green and clean energy. And, and getting us weaned off of oil than in hold fossil thought, fuels. And when you hold, say, hold that thought, and Megan. I want to ask you because a, we, there was a bit of news made just a short time ago on this whole Secretary yes. Chu thing. And it was from Republican presidential candidate Newt Gingrich, who had the following thoughts. Take a listen. If he's really serious about helping the American people, having seen yesterday's testimony, he will fire Secretary Chu and get somebody who favors less expensive gasoline. <laughs> Lars, hey, fire, fire the man. I'm I mean, you know, you he something. believes what he believes. I, I Listen, I know that they still believe this. And I'll tell you, there's an answer to the question you asked Leslie that she didn't answer. Does he want gasoline prices up? Yes, heading into an election year. Why would he want you that in an election year, Lars? I, I'm, I'm, no. I'm going I'm to give you a logical argument that even a lawyer like you could appreciate. <laughs> the president just communicated <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. And know that I know. I, God bless you. You know, you're one of the good lawyers out there. The I kind that isn't that. practicing. But... <laughs> Well, most of them are lousy. But the president just a few weeks ago communicated to America that he's willing to kill a major pipeline project. Why? Because his most ardent followers do not want that oil in Canada used. Frankly, they don't want any oil used, which is exactly what Chu said last week. So if, you, if the president sees high gas prices, it communicates a message to his fervent followers 
that he is going to kill the internal combustion engine. He's going to get us off oil by making it so expensive you can't afford it. Of course, that's a positive message, mm -hmm. not for conservatives or for working people that have to drive to work like me. It's a good message for his environmental nut jobs mm -hmm. who think the faster we get to $8 right. gas, the faster we get America off. Who said it last week? <laughs> oh, who said which? Well, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't resist. It's like a who's on first kind of thing. Leslie, quick Gosh. last word and I got to go. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, did you say quickly, Leslie? Uh, yeah. Bottom line here, right now, U.S. oil production is at its highest it's ever been. You guys say drill baby, drill Lars, and, and still oil point. prices have gone up. You're giving the pre this president or any president too much power if you don't think whether it's Libya or Iran threatening to close this, the Strait of Hormuz or whether we have so many closures of oil refineries in the United States if that doesn't contribute to it. And, and you know that to be true. Well, I understand that President Obama has some choice words for Lars right now at FoxNews.com and his remarks that are streaming. <laughs> live not really uh but thank you both so much thanks thank Megan. you i see you soon we are three minutes